Why is the title of this video the 11 tribute to America <laughs> truck? <laughs> God, is that the f airplane crashing in the f field on the door? I was going to say, is that flight three? Oh my God. Is that Giuliani? Yeah. What is going on? And he kind of looks like Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> oh, what is this? Osama oh, Biden? Uh, target what? acquired, dude. <laughs> Dude, how oh. can you just take this to Ralph's like, like it's normal? <laughs> By coming on the podcast, you agree to arbitration. Oh yeah, sure. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Sick. Um, oh, it fit. No. Oh, not quite. Not quite. The Jeep's kind of tease you. It goes in like a quarter inch and then rejects it. So Damn. we've all been no, there. You got you got to spit on that thing, dude. <laughs> <laughs> dated reference neck gear to get that tiktok girl <laughs> i didn't want to say it because that's what i wanted to say but i was like oh it's like that stupid <laughs> <laughs> can i just pause here for a second why is everyone in the chat asking for feet pictures is that a thing that you guys do yeah, we're at uh, 99,992 subscribers at the moment. I suspect we will hit 100,000 during this live stream. With us this evening, we have the man himself shooting cars. When you go on YouTube and you type in any used car and then you put review after it, this man is as prolific, perhaps more prolific than Doug DeMuro. There are so many videos that, that you've shot. Whenever I search for anything to find like B-roll for, for whatever we're talking about, you always pop up in the YouTube results. Like like you have reviewed everything. You, you've hit every <laughs> single car at this point, it looks like. I, I appreciate it, that's, that's the goal. Is that really the goal? Like, is, is your goal to just have no gaps at all? Well, basically, my goal was to review every single car ever made, and that's <laughs> never going to happen. But, yeah. man, I'm trying my best to get as close as I can to that goal. You're, yeah, uh, dude. you're, you're. You're chipping away there. It's it's a seriously <laughs> Sisyphean task for sure, but you're you're pushing that boulder. And this is, I'm only back a month, dude. Yeah. Well, here here's my favorite. If if you stop mm. right here, where I reviewed a five hundred and one thousand dollar Rolls Royce, and then the next video is a ninety four Saturn SC two. <laughs> yeah, dude. I'd rather watch that Saturn video to be honest with you. That right there is like the epitome of like what I want my channel to be is just like old clunker beaters next to whatever's the newest thing in the world. So. <laughs> so how do you find the cars? Do you just like talk to dealerships? Is it all just people who watch your channel or how do you acquire the vehicles to review? It's a very wide array, right? So it started off with, I wanted to review cars. So I borrowed my parents' car, my friends' cars, my grandparents' cars. And then it started, you know, friends of friends started submitting, the, as you can see on screen right now, you could submit your car to my website and so people started doing that i also reached out to dealerships started working with them i actually I'm, I'm filming at two dealerships tomorrow and then the most recent acquisition i guess you could say was last year i started getting press cars so that's actually working directly with the manufacturers okay. they send you a car for a whole week to test out and then you give your thoughts on it you make a video they come pick it up and they drop you off a new car and you just kind of continue with that cycle. So I actually you, have a you Fiat can just goon in that e. thing. You don't even have to clean it. Just, <laughs> just blow gooning. all over the back seat. Say, there's, come pick there, it up. <laughs> there's definitely you. You want to keep them happy, but yeah, I <laughs> I just returned a Jeep Wrangler 392 um, that was full of sand. Yeah, that. <laughs> it was just we, full we, of my sand. girlfriend and I took this to the dunes. And I don't think it's on camera. You might be able to see some of it, but we took it to the dunes and it uh, and there was some sand piles in the back. I felt a little bad about that one, but that's one of those press cars. So I got to drive it around for a week. Mm. That's sick. Oh, yeah, there's sand yeah. everywhere. <laughs> yeah, you, you can see it. it's uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, it's I, I apologize. Oh, not quite. No, not quite. the Jeep's kind of tease you. It goes in like a quarter inch and then rejects it. So Damn. we've all been no, there. You got you got to spit on that thing, dude. <laughs> Dated reference to get that neck gear. TikTok girl. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I didn't want to say it because that's what I wanted to say, but I was like, oh, it's like that stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I don't like that meme at all. It's like a fuck. It's like a forced ass normie meme. No, nah, she's bigger than Jesus now. Like, oh, well, but the thing is, she's not. It's like it's it's very artificial. The whole thing, you know. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. does anybody really care about her? No. Nah. I do have to say, it, it, pertaining to these press cars, at least yeah. word on the street, because I've only been doing press cars for about a year and a half at this point. Apparently, several years ago, there was like a running tab on who had had sex in what press car because they all. <laughs> go around they all like so this jeep left my house oh you can There's see the sand, sand there There's That's a, sand. a lot of sand <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, that was vacuuming that out at 8 a.m. this morning. There used to be a list because once this Jeep left my house, it gets cleaned and then sent to another journalist for a week. And then it goes back, gets cleaned, gets sent to another journalist. So there mm-hmm. used to be some tomfoolery going on with that stuff. Auto journalists are like Olympic athletes, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> perverts <laughs> i will say it's not with each other it's just like it's out there like i don't know any auto journalist that's also dating an auto journalist we're a very weird group that is sometimes hard to get along with well shit, i don't know i just wanted to ask you where you got the cars but i mean i guess you say that in the intro to the damn videos <laughs> so. well i mean so, like there, there's a ton of different avenues like working with dealerships you know they obviously want something out of it so that's where advertising comes in so i have to advertise the dealership give them their 15 seconds yeah if you like this come check out come yeah, check out yeah, yeah. you know don elway fucking chevy <laughs> yeah. exactly so like i'm doing that tomorrow like I'm, I'm filming at two different dealerships and then i'm doing two personal cars on friday and then i think all personal cars this weekend but then monday i'll film the fiat that i have i have a fiat 500e in the driveway this week Wow. So then that's, you know, that's a different thing. So th- there's a lot of different avenues, a lot of different ways to source cars. And that's kind of how I'm able to review such a wide range. You are just busy as hell, huh? Well, you know, it's funny. I tell people, uh, yes, I, I like to stay very busy, but also I genuinely don't have a hobby Mm -hmm. like i kind of i I like rc cars but that's fun for like 35 minutes and then you go back inside sure um so this is my hobby if i'm not editing or making a video i don't know what to do with my life yeah understandable so So what what got you what got you into cars i've always been into cars you know i don't want to do the the same story as everyone but you know i grew up watching fast and furious i had every hot wheels of every car and things like that my dad had always been into cars he was an auto mechanic before i was born and then he had an rx7 before i was born and all that stuff and so i was always kind of around cars but then in high school i I always loved making movies too i always wanted to be like a film director or something and so in high school i finally got a car and i bought myself a mazda rx7 immediately blew up the engine i mean like within six months of ownership i just blew up that little 12a that's that's how you natural you know makes sense (laughs) well i'm I'm not kidding this will show you how far i've grown i didn't know that you had to let a car warm up before you drove it yeah okay so So i would turn it on and then ram on eight thousand rpm going to school which my (laughs) high school was two minutes away so then i would shut it off it hadn't even the needle hadn't even moved yet and i'd go inside and go sit in class all day so destroyed that engine immediately and then apex seals straight out the exhaust pipe which is funny because the exact rotor that blew up the apex seal is on my desk right now i'm staring at it oh nice clank that thing around a little bit for the audio (laughs) oh oh here, let me let me get my. Uh, we gotta hear it. Yeah. Let me get the mic off here. Ready? Yeah. Yeah, it's a 12A rotor and housing just sitting on my desk. So first gen RX7? Yes, eight, 1985. So I bought off Craigslist 2,500 bucks. I worked at a car wash all summer just to buy it. That's all. I, and then I immediately quit the car wash as soon as I had enough money. Because of course, in my mind, I'm like damn boomer status. Well, I'm like, here. I got I got the car, so. Who cares? You know, I don't need any more money. I have the thing. Uh, Yeah, so that's right when I bought it right there. So this was my red one. Bought it in high school. Like I said, immediately blew up the engine. I think six months. And it was also wintertime, too. So pulled the engine out. That's the 12A coming out. Bought this car, which was an $800 FC RX-7. (laughs) Pulled that motor out. Put it into the FB. Got it running. And I wanted to just film videos of that i wanted to film the process of that car getting built and once i had done that which that's me putting the registration sticker on once i did that then i i I wanted to keep making videos but i didn't really have a a car to do so or b it was costing so much money to you know keep building this car like anything i did was like seven eight hundred bucks so i was like how can i keep making videos how can i sustain this channel you know without spending so much money per video and that's how the car reviews started so i borrowed my parents cars i I had a pontiac g6 which you see in the background right there um that was the first (laughs) review i ever did was that 
Pontiac G6 four cylinder. Oh yeah. Um, so yeah. How long have you been doing this? How long have you been reviewing cars? The first car review I ever did was 2015, but I I didn't start doing it as a full time job really till 2018 or 2019. And it, it really just I was at the gym one night on the treadmill and I was like, well, if I want to do this thing full time, I have to treat it like a full time job because I would only film a car like once every few weeks or once a week maybe. And so once I started treating it like a full time job, it actually started paying like a full time job. And that's where I'm at. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. yeah. You, you, you got to apply the Sigma grind set. Yeah. yeah well, it you know, it, at some point, like there is some truth to that stuff of like, the next morning I made a resume and I went to every dealership in my town and said, Hey, I need to borrow a car for an hour. I'll give you a shout out in the video. You know, that's it. And I think I went to 15 dealerships and 14 of them said no. But the very <laughs> last one I went to was like, yeah, sure. We don't, we don't care. Oh, so, that sounds good. That sounds cool. Yeah. And, and lucky enough that they were actually part of a dealership group that was Toyota, Chevy and Lexus. So I basically had three dealerships to work with right off the bat. So were they, were they giving you new cars or were they giving you like eccentric vehicles or just anything? They started or? off with the new stuff because that's obviously what they wanted to promote. Mm -hmm. But how I would do it is I could film three cars in a day. So I would go in and I'd film the brand new car and then I'd be like, oh, hey, you know, you have this Hummer H3T sitting in the corner like while I'm here, I can just, you know, knock that one out. And so I'd do that and usually film like two used cars, one new car mm -hmm. and sort of just build out from there. Do you promise them any sort of turnaround time? Like, do they want to advertise the actual car that's in the video or do they just want the shout out? It's different per dealership, but I always have to talk to them and say, hey, look, we're not advertising this specific car. It's really just to get your name out there, because gotcha. by the time the video turns around, Nine times out of ten, the car gone. the car sold, or yeah. the car sits on their lot for another year, which was a whole thing that happened once. Um, so they called it the shooting car's curse. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, yeah, that was a whole story that I don't even know if I'm actually allowed to talk about. Oh, you got um, beef? You got beef with a dealership? I I got beef around town. Sure, yeah. No, oh, I, but that actually no that glorious. reminds me real quick. That that reminds me, Zach, by coming on the podcast, you agree to arbitration. Oh, yeah, sure. All right. Uh, uh. All right. Sick. Um, well, so, okay. So the story there real quick without naming names. Basically, I filmed the car at a dealership. It had a problem. I said the problem in the video. They didn't fix the problem. They tried to sell the car to someone and say that the problem was fixed. The dude saw my video, said, hey, it's not fixed. And the deal fell through, which they, you know, didn't sell the car for the money that they wanted, even though they didn't fix it. It was a broken car. Yeah. Um, and he had proof that they knew it was broken. Right. And so then they got pissed at me. I got a bunch of phone calls of GM screaming at the top of their lungs at me and, you know, telling me I'm never welcome back in their area, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and it was God. just because they didn't fix the car that was yeah, in the video your fault. that yeah. right and and you know i guess i could have left it out of the video but it was a common issue for that type of vehicle so like obviously i want to say hey like if you're looking to buy one you know that Look this is a risk this. and put them on blast yeah. dude light them up right now Get no it, it's ass, all, it's, no, it's it's water under the bridge and and you know what's funny is right as that all blew up in my face literally the next week Volvo reached out to me and was like, hey, do you want your first press car? Like, we'll give you this $85,000 Volvo for the week. And that was the first press car I ever got. And now I do press cars. So it was like this perfect transition of like, all right, this dealership is really pissed. Oh, now the manufacturers like me. Cool. Let's do that yeah. instead. Hell so yeah. you it worked out. Yeah, it worked out incredibly well. So um, there's no hard feelings anywhere. So YouTube chat is saying 100K feed. I'm showing 99,000. Oh. No, no, not yet. Not yet. We're at 99,999 subscribers. One of you motherfuckers damn. who gets the recommends just hit the damn button so that I can drop these pipes for you. We do, we do, um, oh, there everyone it is. Mass right, there unfollow. Is everyone mass unfollow. Everyone mass unfollow. No, mass stop, unfollow. stop, no, stop, do stop. Not, mass do unfollow, not. please. <laughs> Oh, let me check it again. No, we're I mean, still at 100K. Sure. That's it. 100,000. <laughs> it just happened live. Sick. Wow. Congratulations, guys. That, that, for real, that's awesome. Yeah. And Shooting Cars was here to see it. I'm trying to talk some shit. Discord.gg slash feed. Let's talk some shit.
bitch. I want to say I was here before 100K. I Maybe. was yes. here before yes. 100K. Yes. Hell, barely, barely, but I was here. All right, so for 100,000 subscribers, what is your favorite Fast and the Furious installment? Uh, two. Uh, two yes, Fast and Furious. Yes, a man of 100%. culture. The on! The what? scene where the cars all come out of the garages, I reenacted That's about so 30 times with the kids in my neighborhood. You know, <laughs> rest in peace, sick. little Timmy that got ran over by a Power Wheels, but, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> I love this scene, A, because it's so cool and the music is great, and I had a Dodge Ram growing up, so I thought that I could do this. But second of all, the car collection. Get the pause button ready because some of the cars in here are absolutely insane. Yeah, this is the only time you'll ever see an MR2 Spider in the Fast and the Furious franchise. The MR2 Spider, there's, I believe, two PT Cruisers. Yeah. There's riced uh, out PT Cruisers? Hell yeah, yeah let's see those. Yeah, just completely riced out. Let's see here. All right, all right. Supra, MR2 Spider, E36. There, there's which an they MR2 never, right there. It's like the fucking mischief E36. Yeah. They never mention an E36 like ever again. There's yeah, one. PT that, Cruiser. PT the Cruiser. Silver, PT the two of them. One. Silver and red. Oh, back yeah, there's a second back. one there. <laughs> Beautiful. That looks like a Hyundai Accent, that yellow one. Or Tiburon. That just went through the middle. What is that? No, it's oh, it's, a, of, it's oh, a Lancer. No, it's a, yeah, it's like oh. a Lancer OZ or something. Is yeah. that not an Accura CL? Nah, no, I think it's a, I think it's a Lancer OZ. Oh, it could, weird. Uh, it might be a Solara, actually. I'm not sure what that is. I don't is. know. The SC 300 or 400. Yeah. The, the Jetta in the upper right-hand corner. Yep. Yeah, yeah I just, just, I love it so, so much because it's just like, what the heck is happening? It's such a weird collection, There's yeah. There's a PT Cruiser for a uh, third time. This thing got a lot of screen time. Is that like oh, a, is that the Lancer? It, yeah, that is a Lancer, right? Oh, yeah, yeah it's a Lancer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, okay. And then the, the Eclipse just purging the NOS the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I love it. The MR2 Spiders. There it is. S14A. A Koki. Hell yeah. yeah. The, the, just an F-150 with an American flag on the side, apparently? <laughs> they had the to fill in that? a lot I've of space. I've never seen that one. <laughs> Wait, 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 is that an alt? No, what's in the upper right hand corner? Is that a Saturn? It's an Ultima. Ion? That's oh. not a, is that an Ultima? Yeah, you're right, it is. It's yeah. an Ultima. Oh my, I never yeah. realized there was an Ultima in this scene. This is where it all started, right there. It must have been brand new. Yeah. Wait, 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 wait. Why is the title of this video the 9 11 Tribute to America truck? <laughs> <laughs> Was that what we just saw on the screen? Yeah, maybe. Hold on. Let's go back. That that has to be. I mean, I don't know what other 9 11 Tribute truck is in this scene. Okay, so now. So this, let's, this blur? <laughs> so now search now now search 9 11 Tribute to America truck on Google. What? Uh, that's a, that's a bet... risky Google right there, my friend. <laughs> oh, we're risky people, dude. That's it. That's probably a that's Carville's that's Auto it. Mar, no, That's yeah. 100% it. Because it has like a beach in the middle or something. What the f so that's in. Oh, it was not lifted in the film. I can tell you that much. Inconsistencies. <laughs> <laughs> all right, good, oh, wow. This good, good trigger discipline. Yep, yep. Oh, all right. He's chunking deuce also. <laughs> just, I just want to see the damn truck, dude. I hear it. Yeah, is. enough yapping. Now, if I could review this, you think this thing's still bopping around? God, is that the fucking airplane crashing in the fucking field? That's an, on the say, is that that's an SR-71. Oh, oh, yeah, it that's is. That's Flight that's... 93. Yeah. Oh, my God. What was up with the SR-71 on the fender? Is that Giuliani? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All the great American heroes in one spot. What wow. Is, what is going on? And he kind of looks like Eddie Guerrero. <laughs> oh, what is this? Osama that? bin Laden? Uh, target what? acquired, dude. <laughs> dude, how oh. can you just take this to Ralph's like, like it's normal? <laughs> I wish I could like go back in time and tell him, dude, we got him. He'd be hyped. <laughs> If that's a feature, then I should be, it should be Spider-Man 2 featuring Zack from Shooting Cars. You're in Spider-Man 2? They were filming it in Chicago, and the, like, the train scene with Doc Ock, mm -hmm. they filmed it in Chicago, and it went by us at the station, and they told us all to, like, act surprised. <laughs> I, I don't even, I think it's, like, a very, like, a one frame or something, but. Sick. Uh, yeah, I don't see no America truck ever again. No, it's gone. Well, I, I think that was CGI. I would assume this is uploaded by the guy who owns the America truck. Yeah. It must be. It must yeah, be. Yeah, be because whoever bought it, it's like, oh, this car was actually in too fast. And here's the provenance of the truck. Are you in Chicago? Yeah, I'm just outside Chicago. You in Evanston, bro? No, but I'm not far from there. And I'm actually filming right close to there uh, tomorrow. Okay, was that a well? That's, well sick, dude. I'm a, I'm a Midwest guy too. We uh oh nice. We dig it. Um, oh, yeah. hold on, I gotta go back though because I just saw an MR2 Spider with what looked like a Nismo stripe on the side of it. I think I'm, there it is. There it is. Yeah, that's 
Yeah, that's a Nismo stripe. It's got a or, is it? I mean, obviously inspired by the Nismo Clearly stripe. Clearly inspired. I think it just has a flat, like a flag at the back. But yeah, that's a Nismo stripe. <laughs> that's bizarre. Uh, I love it, man. It, it, car car culture was just the wild west in the late '90s, early 2000s. Yeah. This, yeah, and this was like this was the peak. God, this I want movie one of those was caprices, the peak of it. Though. Man, Tokyo Drift was the caprices. peak. You guys are f***ing crazy for this. You want to Tokyo first, no, Drift man. is very very good. All right, but all right. I was a little bit older when that movie came out and just slightly less interested. When this mm. came out, I had every Hot Wheels. I had every Johnny Lightning of all the star cars. I had everything. Like, this was like, it just came out at the right time. Copyright issues are going to come up if we, if we oh, keep yeah, watching yeah, yeah. too fast. But here, let me pull up. Uh, you've probably done an MR2. Yeah, not in a long time, though. These are going to be some old videos. Oh, oh God. You could do, you could do feeds... Uh... ZZW30, is that what they're called? Yeah, ZZW30. Spider. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, spider, I, yeah. My I haven't been in a... This is the most recent MR2 I filmed, and this was three years ago. And this one, this one was blowing quite a bit of smoke. Oh, it, the, oh, not up its ass, but like the car itself was smoking. Yeah, bad. no, no, I, no. I got you. Yeah, the, the, what was it, 4AGE was uh, yeah. Yeah. not super happy in this one, but that was, oh, a, that was a fun video to do. I've done all three generations, which was important nice. for me to do. I, that, that's something I really pride myself on is like completing trilogies or like complete, you know, engine families. Completing, completing the, the generation line. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's like, to me, like that's a crowning achievement for sure. Okay, so every time that you review a car, have you done it the whole time with the, uh, the gigantic bottle? Have you been shoving that thing into cup holders the entire time or did that like start a little bit later? So that started in uh, really late 2020. Okay. But I started implementing into videos January of 2021. So gotcha. it hasn't been the whole time, but I do have a spreadsheet on my computer and I've done <laughs> over a thousand cup holders. Wow. What is the yeah. smallest car that you have fit your, your cup into? Mini your... Cooper S from the mid 2000s. But nice. specifically, this is so nerdy, specifically the John Cooper works because it came with an optional cup holder that you could remove, but it was OEM. And it actually did fit the big freaking bottle test. It, it's yeah, it's that top one. It's the 06. There's some weird ones in there, but it's a lot of minivans, a lot of pickup trucks, things like that. There yeah. it is. Oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. So that's an optional cup holder, but it is factory equipment. Are my dumb fingers? No, they're <laughs> they're beautiful fingers. <laughs> Thanks, guys. No, Appreciate your fingers it. are safe, dude. <laughs> no, so this was this was an option, and that's like part of the rules is that it has to be either like a factory cup holder or like an optional one. Like from from the yeah company. from from the factory because I actually have people now that are like oh I I installed my own cup holder so it would pass and I'm like that's not that's, that's not the it. point of it yeah, yeah that's cheating so that, the yeah, cup I, holder looks like the fucking Dune fucking popcorn <laughs> <laughs> the worm bucket the yeah the, oh, the Dune the Dune fleshlight that they were selling yeah it, you know it's not far off I'll, I'll be honest with you <laughs> so the the big freaking bottle started. I, I wanted something in my videos that like viewers could look for or like, you know, look forward to. Like Alanis getting in the trunk. Yeah, like yes. Alanis King like, shoving herself without, in the trunk of cars. Ex exactly. Or, you know, the, I, it was derived a lot from the straight pipes. They do the, the sun visor test, right? Mm -hmm. so, or, MC, or MCM, the shoe thing. Yes, exactly. So like I wanted something that like and which is nice that people actually comment this. They go, hey, I didn't really care about this Oldsmobile that you were driving. I just wanted to see if it passed the big freaking bottle test. <laughs> and so I wanted something that people could look forward to. And I didn't know what I wanted to do. I wanted to do some type of cup holder or something. But mm -hmm. in 2020, I got a kidney stone and had to have surgery to have it removed. It was this whole big thing. And... My friend for Christmas got me this giant water bottle because I need to drink more water. Drink, like drink that's more how you water. get kidney right. stones is not drinking <laughs> enough water. Mm. Um, and so she got it for me and she was like, hey, I, I got this specifically because it fits in your cup holder. I was like, oh, that's so sweet of you. It's so nice. I left her apartment, put in the cup holder, didn't fit at all. <laughs> and I was like, all right, whatever. Yeah, like, what a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> She's great. She's the nicest person ever. Um but I, the next day I was filming a Honda HRV 2018, whatever older one. And, and it, I didn't put this in the video, but I just had the water bottle with me and it fit in the cup holder. And I was like, okay, there's some, yeah. there's yeah, something yeah. here. So I tested a few other cars and like two passed out of the 10 that I tried. So I was like, okay, let's just try this out. 
And then it's been ever since then. That's has it. been the same bottle the whole time? <laughs> it has been the same exact bottle the entire time. Sadly, I don't have it with me at my desk uh, right now. Come on, man. Um, you need that water. And, but I can it, it, well, it too. Here's a little inside baseball. I can hear those stones grow, dude. I've never said it publicly. Mm-hmm. I, I don't fill the water bottle with water anymore because I've found mold in there twice. Oh. <laughs> Oh. So ever since I've like kind of creeped out from drinking out of it now. Understandable. So uh, it is fully just a prop, but it has been the same exact water bottle for the last what is that? Uh, four years, three four years. Four years? Yeah, geez. It is dented. It's dinged. It's cracking. It's it's not in great shape. But I'll be damned if I ever get a new water bottle. Just bleach it out, man. You could drink out of it yeah, again. I, bring it back to life. I plan on doing that. I just need to like set time aside to bleach it and then like let it dry out for a while so i'm not just drinking bleach um, if you oh put God, this if video you, is if so you fill old it with water and put like a like <laughs> i'll go to a different one really just need like a few drops of bleach in there yeah i i, I don't know i need to figure I something look at this, out so i hope this one's not too old because this is kind of sick Oh, this is maybe 2021, I want to say. This was really, really cool. This was just outside Atlanta, and I absolutely fell in love with this car while driving it. Is this the smallest thing you've ever driven? No, I've driven a bunch of K cars, a lot oh, okay. of Japanese K cars, which are smaller. And then, like, if you really want to get into it, like, I did a Moto Compacto last fall. <laughs> like little okay. but that's not a, that's not a car yeah right 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 car wise it's on the smaller side the k cars get pretty pretty flipping small have you done uh, a autozam az1 that is the only not the only k car but one of the very few that i have not done damn um but i've done the uh the what is it the b and the c so i've done a beat and i've done a cappuccino the cappuccino i had to i had to drive with my right arm out the window <laughs> because i didn't fully fit yeah people <laughs> so don't realize how tiny they are yeah, yeah you see small. in the the intro i start with the window up but when it's cutaway shots i put the window down and had my arm out the window um because i just i could not fit in there physically they're too f***ing small dude like i don't understand why people love them so much you know what else the military jeep i i drove a world war ii used world war ii jeep and the steering wheel obviously the seat um and the steering wheel are non-adjustable but I don't know if you could tell in the video. I had to suck in my gut in order to turn <laughs> because and it was drawing a black line across my shirt because <laughs> the steering wheel was just basically cutting me in half. Slowly. Oh, I think I can see it. I think I can see a little bit of line there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's it. God damn you, Jeep. Yeah, yeah. So I, I would not have done well in the Second World War. Uh, they probably would have been like, who's that massive guy coming across the field? Done. <laughs> Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your money. Give me your money. Renesis FC, CCF and Shooting Cars, what a combo. Your Arc 7 videos are great and help me make my choice of a project. Oh, so. thank you. It's cool because I haven't had a Mazda RX-7 in almost three years at this point, but it's cool that I still get messages, people saying like, oh, like, you know, I want to get a rotary because of you and, and all the videos that I made. So it's cool to still hear that they have an impact. And um, I appreciate that. I hope you're loving your rotary. I mean, he named himself Renesis FC, so he must love what he's doing. <laughs> A Renesis swapped FC. That is interesting because I don't love the Renesis engine, but I love the FC platform. So that is that's a very interesting combo. You have to have a real fatalist attitude to drive something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm I'm supposed to review at some point a 12A swapped NA Miata, which oh is <laughs> a 1970s carbureted rotary in a 90s Miata platform. So if that ever, if I ever drive that, that's going to be quite the, quite the experience. Stud, you guys should look at the Honda CRZ. They're pretty badass. You ever look at a Honda CRZ? I have a review of one. It's from many years ago. I can't oh, remember. It's... I think it was manual. I'm trying to think. Um, I love it. I, I love the CRZ. I think it's a really, really underrated car. Is it manual? Yeah, yeah, it, makes, yeah, it, yeah. Said, it said it said hybrid with a manual in the title. Yeah. yeah, these are weird. It's just something that like, especially because the hybrid batteries are kind of problematic this day and age. Um, you could skip this. This is an old. Nah, let me get you your do. money, That's, dude. No, no, no. This Car this that no, no, no. This no, website okay. went under, and the dude didn't pay me, and oh. it was a whole thing. I'll beep it. Car dude.
Yes. <laughs> caramel. <laughs> All my homies uh, hate f***ing caramel. On God. Yeah. But, uh... No, this and I also did a, a Honda Civic Hybrid from 2003 mm-hmm. with a manual. Like you can find manual transmission hybrids. It's just that the hybrid batteries by now have all gone bad. Yeah, I'd love to own a first gen Insight. I think that would be pretty fun. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that too. I've, I think I've done one of those in manual. Let's find out. Uh, yeah, well, that's it. I, I've done 1500 cars. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, I is. just, I don't remember if this one was, yeah, this was a manual, which this one, oh, <laughs> I had some deer staring me down for this video. <laughs> um, this was filmed at Schiller Park Woods in Chicago. Shout out to Chicago. Chica uh, noco, chica noco. <laughs> White Sox um, or Cubs, who do you like? I'm a Cubs person, oh, but it's just because boo. I would go there as a kid. Oh, okay. Um, it's, it's fair. I was I, like groomed him. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I, to be fair, I did actually go to a Cubs game last year, but before that, I hadn't been to a Cubs game since sixth grade, so uh, I, I don't really follow sports, if I'm honest. Yeah, I mean, neither really, but, but, uh, but I'll die for the Cardinals. That's fair. Hey, whatever you support, man. I support you, supporting whatever. <laughs> fair, fair. <laughs> I just remembered this insight. I was kind of pissed off at this video, mm. at, at myself mainly, because I think if you skip to the trunk portion... The guy had like a plug-in hybrid adapter and I didn't ask a single question about it. I was like, oh, that's cool. Not like, how the heck do you convert a standard hybrid to a plug-in hybrid? I didn't ask anything else. I was just like, oh, that's a cool thing you did anyway. And I (laughs) definitely should have pressed further because that's something super cool. Yeah. It just didn't register with me when I filmed this. How many, do you know how many miles he could get off of plugging it in overnight or whatever? Didn't ask a single question. Oh, yeah, you just, all right, yeah, never mind. <laughs> I was just like, here it is, here's a plug-in thing, and I guess he just routed it to the battery, and then that was it. I didn't well, ask anything else. Rip. Because I'm stupid. And all the comments, or not all the comments, but a couple comments on the video were like, hey, like, how does that work? And I'm like, yeah, I don't know either. That's cool. Thanks for coming, guys. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Mountain Mechanic, five bucks. Bingus and NorCal, former mini owner, R58, F57, F54. Now I own a crappy road trip Explorer because they all blew up. Yeah, um, I had a friend shoot, I don't know, a chunk of something through the block of his Mini Cooper. I feel like they're known for that. I feel like they're known for being a little unreliable, yeah. They're either known for that or I've done a couple of them that are super high mileage and have never been problematic. It's the weirdest thing in the world. It's either well, would, super problematic or say, never. Yeah. I would probably say the, the the performance models, like the S's and the JCW's, I would think those are more inclined to die. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, an automatic yeah. base model that somebody bought because it was cute probably will live forever. But, yeah, but an like S a, is like going to die. Yeah. 500 non-abarth. Yeah, exactly. Beast Mode 11. What if instead of 100,000 subscribers, it was... Uh, Neku, you better read the end of this one. What I, I, I'm i going to guess he wants 100,000 boners. That's correct. That's correct. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of boners. That's a, a lot, lot of boners. Of boners. <laughs> yeah, well, hey, they, you know, a little appetizer, you know. Can I just pause here for a second? Why is everyone in the chat asking for feet pictures? Is that a thing that you guys do? Yeah, that's the next one here. Uh, Tickle Me Senpai, if you feed, you said you would show your feet at 100,000 time to deliver. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, been, right, I've well, been saying that for years at this point. I think this was at 10,000 subs when he said that. Yeah, and now I, got, and I gotta spoken. pay up. And I will. Let's get those dogs out. We're gonna get the dogs out, too. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get let the, the dogs, dogs out. out live. What are you doing? No, nah, man, no, nah, no. Nah. I wanna see. Uh, rah, 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 rah. It's gonna happen. He's gotta, he's gotta pretty him up. He's gonna get a pedicure yeah i gotta get a pedicure and i want to stand on the plaque like i want to i want to get the plaque and i want to stand on it barefoot that's the dream for those in chat can we can we ask do you guys want the raw grippers or do you guys want like pedicured up like you know (laughs) can i hear (laughs) they don't get to choose dude they don't don't get the gnarly raw feet (laughs) (laughs) no we gotta clean these come on okay so look so look the 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 silver play button. Oh, look at this raw dog, the, raw grippers. Feet, come on, and then like pouring like like pudding over it all. You know, that's that was never part of the agreement, sir. That has to be behind a paywall. I mean, you oh, guys are Joker insane feet, if that's dude. not behind a paywall. pedicure with Joker and nail polish. Oh sh. Okay, maybe purple and green toenails. Yes. Yeah. Okay, maybe. Look, at, look guys, look at the chat. The people want the raw dogs. I, I mean, I'm on just, each they're on purple. each toenail. I'm a man of the it people. Says, on each toenail, it says ha. <laughs> okay, that, that might be. I mean, it's going to cost a few bucks, but yeah, maybe. I'll, I'll put that down definitely as a maybe. 
Okay. But yeah, I mean, okay, okay yeah, I'm, dogs, I'm sure yeah. they want the raw dogs, but uh, dude, the, the, you speak for the degenerates. I mean, these these guys are <laughs> these dudes are perfect. Speak for the fans, man. man. What can I say? Yeah, he's not he's not wrong. Yeah. Even CHB2 says raw dogs. What a shot. Lucky number seven said, I'm disgusted yet mesmerized. I think that's how we're all feeling personally. 